like father, like son. AQHA professional horseman Clark Bradley joins his father, Bailey Stretch Bradley, in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. No one conditioned, developed, trained, and showed horses any better than the Bradleys. A humble man who consistently gave of himself to anyone around him, Clark thrived on helping people succeed while taking no credit for the impact he made on the industry. Born July 30, 1945 to Betty Jane and Stretch Bradley, Clark Ricard Bradley grew up with one brother and three sisters on the family farm in Hilliard, Ohio, where they raised dairy cattle and hogs. They also raised American Quarter Horses that the kids could saddle up and ride down the road to Grandpa and Grandma's house. Clark had the choice of milking cows or riding horses, and it's obvious which of the two won out. Clark went on to serve in the United States Marine Corps and graduated from the Ranch Management Program at Texas Christian University. When he returned home, he joined his dad in training horses. For more than 50 years, he was successful in everything from Western Pleasure and Halter to winning the 1968 and 1974 National Reining Horse Association Open Futurities. He started off working hard on the farm, and I think that's what gave him the work ethic to be successful in the horse business, because it takes a lot of work in horses. So then he started riding horses at a young age, and I think it just, that's all he ever wanted to do. And he's, I think he was very happy that he could make a living on horses. His first things he really liked to do was cutting horses and roping. So he roped when he was a um, teenager, and he told me a story about um, county fair. They had a rodeo. And they would always match like a professional roper against a local teenager. So got Clark, when he was a teenager, got to match one of these professional ropers. He said he had him down to the last calf, but then he lost it. Clark impacted the horse industry in a big way. Not only did he help set standards in the disciplines that he trained and showed in, but he also influenced, inspired, and encouraged his peers. Clark's knowledge of all the events and how he could get a horse broke really helped him sell himself apart from other trainers. He, and, and on top of that, he could really teach to his students at the college, University of Finley, and also the, the trainers that worked for him. And I think he really passed that down to him. Clark had a hand in crafting and developing reining and the National Reining Horse Association and was instrumental in the success of the All-American Quarter Horse Congress and Ohio Quarter Horse Association. Clark was an AQHA Director Emeritus and sits in the OQHA and NRHA Halls of Fame, having served as president of both associations. Clark impacted the lives of horsemen, trainers, and riders throughout the industry. He was an advocate of youth and coached national championship teams at the University of Findlay, where he was an instructor for 26 years. I think what Clark's most known for in the industry is being very diverse. He um, could train pleasure horses, rainers, um, cutters, ropers. Um, he did everything except the English, but he could train those horses too. But and he showed all in everything. And then on top of that, he was a great teacher. Taught at University of Finley for a long time. Um, had hauled a lot of youth and amateurs. I think he's the only one to ever win the Pleasure Futurity and the Reigning Futurity at the Congress. Um, he also won the very first cutting they ever had at the Congress. And I think that's what separate, separated him from a lot of other people. Holding judging cards with AQHA, NRHA, and the National Snafflebit Association, Clark judged both the AQHA and AQHYA World Championship shows and other competitions in the United States, Canada, Australia, Britain, Belgium, Brazil, Germany, and Switzerland. In 2001, Clark was named the Don Burt AQHA Professional Horseman of the Year. He was very detailed in everything he did from how you take care of the horse, how you feed the horse. He was so knowledgeable in all the different disciplines. He could help students on whatever they wanted to do or whatever the horse was good at, and he could teach that. Um, he's also led by example. He, he's very hardworking, 
very honest, very, he had a lot of patience with horses and kids, which I think helped. The family tradition carries on with Clark's son, AQHA professional horseman C.R. Bradley, who in 1993, 1994, and 1995 served notice of what was to come by bringing home state championships in Indiana High School Rodeo Association competition. He has scored multiple youth and open titles at the Congress, is a two-time AQHA Super Horse Rider at the AQHA World Show, and roped at the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. CR lives with his wife, Rosie, and son, Cooper, in Collinsville, Texas, where he trains roping horses. I was on a horse when I was very early age. They said uh, the only way they'd get me to take a nap when I was young was set me on a horse and ride around, and I'd fall asleep. And then um, we, he was always riding, and I, I loved ro riding and roping, and so we spent a lot of time together on horses. Horses, big connection. Clark passed away January 18th, 2022. Three years earlier, in support of his Hall of Fame nomination, American Quarter Horse Hall of Famer Carol Harris of Bobet Farm in Reddick, Florida, described Clark as, quote, a true American cowboy with an amazing talent he has shared with our members, young and old. We honor the respected, dedicated, and passionate Clark Bradley by welcoming him into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. <laughs>